The warm weather feels nice for us and rattlesnakes, of course. They're coming out earlier this year and it's making it more dangerous for people to hit our hiking trails. KCAL 9's Chris Holmstrom talked to a man who found that out the hard way. The trails are back open at Fryman Canyon and the beautiful weather is bringing out the hikers and the rattlesnakes. Check out this video. You can see the snakes slither across the path. Or this picture from the Angeles National Forest. Andrew Shock took it after he was bitten by the rattler. We were going around a curve, and I was just talking to her, and you know, mind was wandering. We were looking out at the trees, and then all of a sudden, I step on something, and I feel that, and then all of a sudden, you, you know, you hear the sound of the snake striking. You could see where the snake made contact. Within an hour, his foot started to swell. He was then medevac to the local hospital. And the farther it went down the limb, the more um, you know, closer to the bite, it was swelling got worse and worse. Like my foot was blown up like a balloon at one point, you know, where like all my toes were, were just were larger than I've ever seen them before. And the pain was pretty excruciating, to be honest. Shocked was treated with antivenom and spent four days in the hospital. A reminder for hikers that rattlesnake season is here. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife has some tips for hikers. They include staying alert through your hike, also wearing sturdy boots or long pants like these ones, and another one staying on those popular trails. We started to see them early in, in uh, early February because um, it was a little warm spell there. But now they're, they're starting to come out a little bit more and more. Kyle Chang is the lieutenant supervisor for the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. He says the rattlesnakes are primarily out during dusk and dawn, and they're not usually out during the midday heat. He says they usually keep to themselves. But what do you do if one bites you? The first thing is remain calm. No tourniquets or anything. You know, try to ice it down and get to the local hospital as soon as possible. And keep in mind, the chances of you dying from a rattlesnake bite are slim. Just make sure you go to a hospital. As for Shocked, he's now recovering at home, but has this advice for hikers. Always, always, always watch your surroundings. Another big tip, if you're hiking with your dogs, make sure they're on a leash. And of course, if you don't have to hike alone, then don't. Reporting in Studio City, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News. Gosh,